Hey guys, Bad Movies here, and today in this video I'm going to be ranking the Best Picture uh, nominees for the 2018 Oscars, which is really the 2017 movies, so it's a little complicated, but uh, I got my little list right here on my phone, it's a little uh, nice gadget, so I'm going to be ranking them, so here I go, alright, so there are nine Best Picture nominees, and uh, at number nine, Lady Bird. Now this might be surprising to some of you, but I don't know. I just didn't find anything that great about it. It was kind of a, just a cliched uh, coming of age story. The acting was great, it was well made, but it just wasn't anything special to me. So that's why it comes in at last at number nine. All right, number eight, The Post. All right, Steven Spielberg, in my opinion, has been falling down in quality in recent years. He's not bad, he's just not as good as he used to be. So The Post was better than his past um, movies. I, I don't know, it just, not as good as he used to be, which is disappointing. But it was still a very good movie, and it definitely deserves a nomination. But it comes in at number 8. This movie was the lowest rated of all the Best Picture nominees this year. It definitely wasn't as big as all the other Best Picture movies, but it was very well made. The camera work was amazing. It was very, very stellar. Right? And the acting was also amazing. I think Gary Oldman probably deserves the Oscar this year for Best Actor. And it was pretty. It was actually pretty funny, pretty entertaining. And it was just overall just a good movie. I would recommend watching it. Number six, The Shape of Water. Uh, so I saw this movie uh, yesterday, and it was interesting. It was very fun though, it was a fun movie, it was very fast paced, very fluently directed, uh, there was never a point where you're like, oh this is kind of boring, or, or, but it was very good, and the music was beautiful, the acting was great, and it was just a really nice story, very heartwarming, very nice, I would definitely check this one out. Number 5, Call Me By Your Name, I really didn't know what to expect going into this movie. I knew it was about a gay couple, and that's pretty much it. It was strange. It felt like it, it was a fast pace, but by the end, it was just incredible. It just blew me away. It totally took me off guard. It was just like, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's great. It's a good movie. You should check it out. Number four, Get Out. This movie was one of the most original movies I have seen in a long time. All right, very well made by Jordan Peele. Great acting, fun, it was funny. It was not really scary, but maybe suspenseful, I don't know. And it was just one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. I think Jordan Peele is a great director and he has a lot of potential to do more great movies. And I can't wait to see what he does next. I really hope he wins some Oscars this year. That would be really nice for him. All right, number three, Phantom Thread. This movie, I thought, was not boring one second. I was so enthralled in this movie. It was just so fast-paced and fluent, and the music was beautiful and carried you throughout the movie um, just perfectly. It was just perfectly made. You can tell that Paul Thomas Anderson really put a lot of effort into this, and it paid off because it was a really great movie. Daniel Day-Lewis was great and all the other actors were great. I can't remember the girl's name but whoever played the love interest she was amazing. She was really great. She deserves a nomination even though she didn't get one which is disappointing but it was a very good movie and I loved it. I just loved every second of it. I thought it was beautiful. It was a beautiful film. All right number two Dunkirk. This movie was incredible it was perfectly made it was just bigger than like any other movie it was so realistic and interesting it was different than any movie i've ever seen no characters really no names no one to get connected to in a, in this war movie which usually in a war movie you get connected to the characters that's like the main part but this movie was different but it was incredible it was a different cinematic experience and it was I loved it it was a great film number one now if you've done the process of elimination you should know what number one is but if you don't know what it is then I'll tell you right now 
three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. This movie was amazing. One of the best movies I've seen in a long, long time. I want everybody to go see this movie because it is so, so good. Uh, the acting is amazing. The story is amazing. Everything intertwines with each other. It's sad. It's hilarious. It's amazing. Everyone needs to go see this, and I really hope that this wins Best Picture, because this was definitely my best movie of the year. So those are my picks, and I just have two honorable mentions that I think should have gotten nominations for Best Picture, but didn't. And the first one is Blade Runner 2049, because I think that was one of the best movies I've seen of last year, and definitely deserves to win some Oscars, definitely for cinematography for Roger Deakins, because it had some of the best I've ever seen in any movie. And it was just amazing. Denis Villeneuve, you know, he's a great director. And I think he deserves more credit. And I think he definitely deserves a Best Picture nomination. So the other movie I wanted to get nominated for Best Picture and definitely deserves it is Baby Driver. It was snubbed at the Oscars, I think, for a lot of things. It was nominated for, obviously, editing, sound editing, sound mixing, which is obvious. And I definitely think it should win those because it was amazing different than anything we've ever seen and I think it was just such a fun fast movie that was amazing uh, the acting was great Edgar Wright just is one of the best directors working today very fun very fast-paced very original and I just think it deserved the nomination and I don't know if it's because of all this stuff with Kevin Spacey over the year but it definitely deserves more recognition than it has so i strongly recommend everyone go see baby driver it's uh, my favorite movie of the year i don't it's not my, the best movie of the year but it's my favorite because i had such a fun time watching it so that's it that's my best picture nominee uh ranking and two more that i think should have been nominated so i don't know if you agree with me but too bad because they're my picks so 